Greetings, dear friends. I present your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Volkswagen Volk 6. In this generation, Golf was deprived of non-Volkswagen made boxes, so there is a choice, but only between the mechanics and DSG boxes of three types. There are a few serious problems with manual transmissions, although the boxes themselves, according to modern fashion, are selected at the limit, that is, they cannot carry the maximum torque for a long time. This is especially noticeable in the frequent problems with the differential, but the mechanics itself sometimes fails. In general, this fact could be ignored, but a connection with the problems of DSJ per selective automatic transmissions of the DQ2 L and partially DQ250 series suggests itself, because some of the problems there are also caused by the high load on the differential and its breakdowns, complicated by dirty lubrication. And traditionally, I remind you that dual mass fly wheels need to be repaired or replaced. You can put a custom one and at the same time a clutch from the version with the VR6 engine, but this is more for tuning lovers than for the average owner. Many lies have already been written about DSJ and many copies have been broken. All that can be said with certainly certainty is that these boxes have a number of defects that negate theoretical gain in the reliability of a shaft gear box with gears engaged by clutches in front of a traditional automatic transmission with planetary gears and clutches. In the boxes of the DQ200 series, they are also DSG7, which were installed in cars whose motors were limited to a torque of 250 nm really give a lot of trouble in this generation. This is despite the 5-year warranty knocked out by the owner's club and good chances for coolants, post-warranty service with partial payment for work and spare parts at the expense of the manufacturer. Now almost all automatic transmissions released before 2012 have already received a new mechatronic unit. The heart of the substructure, new clutches, and often have a new gear shift works or simply change the automatic transmission assembly. But still, for a respectable part of the owners, the clutch kit doesn't live more than 50-70,000 km, and periodically there are malfunctions in the structure. Well, I have already mentioned about the weak differential, the death of which usually entails the complete destruction of the automatic transmission. Vigorous starts with slipping or simply slipping for too long on ice or snow can lead to a sticking of the satellites to the axis. Yes, there were just enough cases of wear on the axle and the satellites of Yes, and there were just enough cases of wear on the axle of the satellites and breakdowns of their gears. But here the dirt in the gearbox all is already to blame. Do not believe those who claim that they have a regular machine installed. It was not possible to find cars in a similar configuration and even with the simplest automated 1.6 MPI 102 horsepower engines. A selective robot is installed. They put in both 1.6 and 1.4 TSI of all types, and even on the very rare 1.8 TSI here. The engine was offered in Europe in a special configuration as an alternative to 1.4 160 liters. And even with a 1.6 diesel of all varieties, the same GQ2 00 was installed. More powerful engines with a volume of 2.0 liters, gasoline and diesel, were equipped with external automatic transmission DSJ DQ250 with the wet clutches. Occasionally, you can also find a DQ500 that is not standard for this generation of golfs, a reinforced 7 motor again with a clutch on an oil sump. However, most often this is already a non-factory swap. It could be installed normally only on Golf 4R of a special series. The DQ250 automatic transmission is noticeably older than the younger DQ200, which means that the peak of its problem by the time of Golf 6 appeared has long, has long passed, and besides the clutch discs are lubricated with oil. This allows you to risk less overheating and have a more predictable resource, and a smaller number of gears has a positive effect on the reliability of the mechatronics operation. Nevertheless, it has to switch at least a third less often. Otherwise, the problems are the same, and even overheating of the gearbox all is added at low speeds with the load. This automatic transmission is currently more maintainable than the younger version. In any case, the repair of mechatronics and the mechanical part has been mastered in many places, although there are also cases of death to death. The situation with DSJ robots is greatly facilitated by frequent oil changes and the installation of an external oil filter. Even if the oil in the automatic transmission doesn't change more often than once every 50,000 km, this box arrives up to 200,000 mileage, most often with the replacement of one set of clutches after 100-120,000 km. And with a relatively neat manner of movement and with a low-speed diesel engine, even more. But unfortunately, the risk of a sudden failure will always hang over the owners of the sword of Damocles. A few words about all-wheel drive. It is extremely rare, but Holdex 3 is here, so we can count on problems with the pump resource and frequent oil changes. I must admit that this generation of Golf just had no luck with the range of engines. 
In fact, the only reliable engines we made naturally is Pirate A12s, dating back to engines from the 80s, but thoroughly modernized down to the design and material of the cylinder block. PSC, BSF, WCSA motors are really reliable. They have no serious problems with either their the timing or with the piston group or with other subsystems. Minor problem with ring coking, destruction of plastic pipes, oil consumption due to stiffened rail oil seals and oil leaks. Through the crankshaft oil seals are possible but not so common. The mileage before overhaul under normal conditions is about 300-450,000 km and with good maintenance the engine can overcome the bar of 500,000 mileage. The main thing is to monitor the serviceability of the crankcase ventilation system and the tightness of the intake to prevent work with malfunctions of the fuel system. And do not forget to clean the throttle, and the unit itself will live longer and the motor will run smoother. Such an engine easily digests any oil and any gasoline, although for an A12 the degree of boost is, of course, too large. By the way, 102 forces, according to the passport, in fact do not show themselves. The car is noticeably more thoughtful than with 16 valve on top. But in the urban cycle, the motor runs very well, delighting with traction. In general, if Golf is needed for a long time, then 1.6 is better not to be found. A simple distributed injection system, timing belt drive with a reliable and cheap belt, simple ignition system and very high maintainability. And of course, low prices for price and service. Aspirate engines 1.4 are somewhat weak, but also quite reliable. But the design of the 16 valve motor is much more complicated and the recoil is still lower. In addition, there are certain problems with the maintainability of the structure. The motor is not at all disposable, as it is often reproached in the service, but it requires a much better quality of work than an 812 one. If you monitor the serviceability of the control system, the intake and change the timing on time, then it will go through its 300-350,000 before the piston is worn out. For the rest, we can repeat all the warm words that were spoken on 1.6, adding even more economy. In this respect, only the 1.2 TSI and 1.4 TSI can be compared with. The new generation of supercharged engines is complex in nature. On the plus side, they have excellent dynamics and efficiency, as well as huge boost opportunities, especially in 1.4, 1.8 and 2.0. It will take much longer to talk about the cons. The 1.2 TCI engine, usually the CBZB series on the Golf 6, has very high power and fuel consumption parameters, but its design has a huge number of weak points. Turbines on this series do not fly. Here the resource is more than 100,000 km and they usually do not present any particular problem, although there is a still possibility that the turbine will not be of the model, especially for low flow machines. With runs for 150,000 in any case, even if there is a mark on the warranty replacement, take a closer look at its condition. The second, even more serious problem is the timing drive. It is changed here and not at all eternal. But first series of motors became famous for the fact that the chain often slipped with runs up to 30,000 km, while the wear was already quite large. On most of the machines the chain has been replaced with a modernized one, along with it the front engine cover is also changed. Now the lower gear has lugs that prevent the chain from slipping at the slightest weakening. And since 2011 the motors have a modernizing timing belt with a completely new design of the chain and gears, but it will not work to put this kit on old motors. The timing star on the crankshaft is not removable and replacement with the crankshaft in an expensive operation. Yes, this is all about CB, ZB and this situation. Perhaps this explains a lot about quality service and design flows. It is for this reason that Volkswagen engines have lost a lot of popularity. By the way, the oil pump is also driven by a chain and it sometimes breaks, especially if you do not listen once again to the sounds of the engine. To avoid chain slip, it is recommended that the crankshaft is not rotated backward or even force is applied in this direction. The owners do not even put the cars in gear on a slope, but all the same, vigorous tow trucks and wise service employees, when replacing clutch kits or other work, manage to turn the crankshaft back. Not much, but this is enough for the chain to slip through the valves mid the pistons. The piston group is surprisingly strong. In any case, it breaks down very rarely. Here the occurrence of piston brains happens, some engines almost from the factory have a decent oil appetite, but most owners have almost no oil consumption before a mileage of 120-150,000. More hassle can be delivered by direct injection fuel equipment, which is difficult to diagnose and cost a lot. More precisely, it is easy to diagnose it, just not everyone knows how to do it yet. But difficulties with the injection pump, its pusher and roller, wear of the camshaft cam and other problems are still available. In general, the motor requires a very thorough check in a specialized service when buying. I didn't say in the deadly shop. Practice shows that they often don't see the obvious there. The, 
and in which case they will offer it to change half of the motor at random. Of course, such a motor has its advantages. I spoke about the resource of the piston group, plus it is extremely compact, and the 8 valve cylinder head is very reliable. In thermos thrust, the engine is much ahead of the atmospheric 1.6. In urban modes, it carries almost like a 2 liter atmospheric engine. And in terms of fuel consumption, no other gasoline engine can compare with it. Except that diesel engines can please you with a consumption of less than 4 liters on the highway, like the 1.2 TSI. Engines 1.2 are relatively few, but 1.4 with supercharging turn out to be the most common. It comes in two flavors. More simple with the CIXA index and a capacity of 122 liters. In fact, the problem differs little from 1.2. All the same problems with the timing and the oil pump chain, except that it is a little more successful, and even its initial versions traveled about 60-70 thousand kilometers before the appearance of noise and overshots. The same difficulties with the fuel equipment, and also a more reliable turbine, but it was not without a solid fly in the ointment. The engine is prone to an appetite for oil and the pistons are weak, they are often cracked and burned out. The reason for this, in addition to the unsuccessful piston rings and the pistons themselves, is also a liquid intercooler, which periodically ceases to cool the change air due to contamination of the heat exchanger in the intake manifold. It is clogged with oil sludge from the ventilation system, failure of the electric pump and panel contamination of the radiator. In addition to these reasons, there are also errors of the control system failure of sensors and the now left firmware, which the owners love to indulge in so much. 1.4 engines with a capacity of 160 liters, the CAVD series, which are nominally the most powerful for the simple versions of the Golf 6, are not the GTI or the Golf R, and there were even more problems, although it would seem rare. There were always more serious design errors associated with the high load on the crankshaft liners, they crumble and wear out. Chipped and burned out pistons are also much more common than on the 122 horsepower engine. And here they also use the double pressurization system with a compressor and a turbine. It has an extremely complex intake with the bunch, chokes, and sensors. Moreover, the compressor drive clutch was combined with the engine pump and the unit often fails. Much more often than the pump itself requires replacement. In general, such an engine entails considerable cost. However, if you could forget about reliability, the 1.4 motors are absolutely amazing. A car with such an engine just flies and fuel consumption is extremely low. Do you want a car with such an engine anyway? Lady is very good oil with a viscosity SAE for this summer. Change plugs and ignition modules in time all the slight suspicion of a misfire. Listen to the chains on the cold start. Clean the intercooler and intake. Check the operation of the intercooling system. And never pour 90 second gasoline into the car. It is better to switch to 98 since you need a little of it. Occasionally you can find on the Golf the 1.8-160 horsepower engine. Structurally, this is ex exactly the same engine as on the 2.0 on the Golf GTI R, but with a reduced volume. It is rarely found only on custom-made trim levers from Europe. Gasoline 2.0 is also rare, but they were not bought for quiet driving and low consumption. The first generation EA888 was installed on the Golf 6. The advantages of these engines include a combination of very good thrust and boost capabilities and good economy at the same time. They are far from the 1.4 TSI, but the flow rate is often no more than 1.6 MPI. There are also enough cons. Direct injection fuel equipment can be ignored. The timing resource is consistently low, and replacement is several times more expensive than on small motors. There are two phase drifters, and their control system requires maintenance. On average, you need to start wearing after 100,000 km, rarely the chains can withstand more than 200. Sometimes the old pump drive chain leads, but in general it is more reliable than 1.2-1.4. The most unpleasant feature is the good oil appetite in almost all engine series. Somewhere it was originally, somewhere it comes over time with an unsuccessful operating style and regular engine overheating. The main problems of the engine were cured after 2013. So on the Golf of this generation, all 2.0 and 1.8 are initially oil rich and problematic, and besides, alas, sunk to death. Many have been modernized for a long time, some have already been replaced by contract ones more than once. With good tuning, anything happens. It is recommended for purchase only to those who are going to build a sports car. As for a slightly higher reliability than that of 1.4 motors, this is indeed the case. Engines 2.0 are less likely to fail right away, more often problems relate to oil appetite, leaks, fogging of the intake, flaps in the intake manifold, a failure in the same place, an injection control system, failure of ignition modules. But the price of work and spare parts is much higher, so economical operation will not work. 
In any case, after 100-150,000 km, you need to keep a large sum ready. There are a few of them on the market, and they have fewer mechanical problems than gasoline engines. Unless information of the problems of Volkswagen Golf 6 is exhausted. If you know more or disagree with what you heard, I am waiting for you in the comments.